since nothing could possibly ruin them. What the? Stop throwing stuff, asshole! What the hell was that all about? Right in the head? You sicko! Command, target is surrendering. Securing. <laughs> Hey ladies and gents, and welcome to a very belated installment of Let's Fucking Play Hitman. Today we find ourselves in the snow-capped mountains of Hokkaido, Japan, at a very fancy establishment known as the Gama Private Hospital. Hello sir! Hey would you pipe down over there? I'm clearly on the brink. Anyway, let's get down to business. Today we've been tasked with the assassination of two targets. Eric Sodas and Yuki Yamazaki. Eric Sodas is, or soon to be was, a board member of the International Contract Agency. However, he has recently betrayed the ICA to secure himself a right-sided heart transplant, courtesy of a powerful organization known as Providence. That heartless bastard. He's currently being fast-tracked for critical life-saving heart surgery. We're of course going to ensure that his operation does not go as planned. Our second target, Yuki Yamazaki, is a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given her access to the ICA's client records and has also promised to provide her with a comprehensive list of active ICA operatives once his surgery has been successfully completed. We cannot afford to let this transaction take place, so naturally, we're just gonna kill the bitch. So, now that we have our objectives, let's not waste any more time and dive straight into it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing today, ladies and gentlemen, is getting ourselves a decent disguise. But before we do that, we're gonna need to get our hands on a weapon of some description. And there just so happens to be a lead pipe outside on the gondola platform that will very comfortably satisfy our requirements. So let's go with that. Now that we have our weapon of choice, it's time to head back inside and go to the bathroom. Inside this bathroom, we'll find an innocent man just minding his own business. <coughs> Not in my bathroom, cunt! Now we'll simply take him by the wrist and drag him into the nearby bathroom. Not that bathroom! Jesus. Jesus, that, that's a dead body! No it isn't! <coughs> He's just unconscious. Hello there, sir. Is there any particular reason you're standing there ominously as I make my way to this- <laughs> Okay, so this time we're gonna drag this guy into the bathroom on the right and shove his body in the closet. Then we're gonna head back into the washroom, open the door and take notice of this guy. This gentleman happens to be the hospital director and it's his uniform that we want to acquire. Now I know what you're thinking. But Ozzy, the cunt has hair! Very true. But thankfully, like some of the other people in this game whose disguise we happen to procure, he's wearing a wig. How very convenient. How very convenient indeed. So while the door's still open, let's toss the crowbar onto the floor and lure him inside. So, is that some sort of um, modern dance? Or performance art? No, I'm just very interested to know, that's all. Just, yeah. <laughs> Cunt, I'm just fucking standing here. Anyway, don't mind me. <coughs> just knocking you the fuck out. There we are. And now to disguise ourselves as the hospital director. Fantastic. Our next step is going to be to exit the bathroom through the left side door, make our way down the stairs, through the hidden door to the right, and down the short corridor into the kitchen, where we'll grab ourselves a kitchen knife, which I'm sure that no one will mind. What the hell? Hey, I need Whoa. some help over here! What's going on? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so this time we'll grab the kitchen knife while no one's watching, then quickly duck into the refrigerator and slice ourselves a deadly piece of fugu fish. 
Now that we've acquired ourselves some rather poisonous seafood, it's time to make our way back upstairs and into the restaurant, where we'll pop out the back door of the sushi bar, head down the stairs, and acquaint the nearby security guard with the wrong end of our lead pipe. Then we'll drag him through the door and dump him in yet another conveniently placed closet, before making our way back up the stairs, picking up this soda can and turning off this fuse box. Okay, how difficult can it be to fix a fuse box, right? A few moments later... I can't fix this, how can I fix that? Look at that! I can't fix this! Hey, what do you know? Did it. Yeah. Now let's drag him down the steps, through the door, and dump him in the same closet as the security guard. Then we'll quickly disguise ourselves as a chef and pop back upstairs to the sushi bar, where we'll poison the plate of sushi with the fugu fish we acquired earlier, and then prepare to serve it to our first target, Yuki Yamazaki. Now all that we need to do is wait for her to swing by the restaurant and have herself a sample. Hello, chef! Mind if I try myself some of that delicious sushi you've got there? Well, I really didn't make it for you, but go for it, mate. Ah, thank you very much. Ah, delicious. Hey. Man, we got ourselves an accident here, you read me? This one is not getting up. Okay, so this time let's not serve the poison sushi to this fucking stupid man and instead tell him to fuck off! Yeah, that's right, mate. Bugger off. This sushi is not for you. We're actually going to be waiting this time for Yuki Yamazaki to enter the- God, oh, blimey, I'd love me some sushi! Ugh, fine. Oh. Fucking have some. Oh, thank you so much! You truly are the nicest man that I've ever had the pleasure of- <coughs> Oh, finally! Yuki, my dear, please come forward and try yourself some delicious- <coughs> Oh, for fuck's sake! What the fuck are you staring at, cunt? Pardon me. You should really try the sushi. It's to die for. A few moments later... Well, that's one way to take care of Yuki Yamazaki. Let's take a look at another, shall we? Somewhere in this ridiculously exclusive establishment is the Gama Private Hospital Hot Spring. And within this hot spring is a sauna. And inside this sauna are these two chatty blokes. G'day, fellas! I can stay here forever. And ever and ever and ever. Mate, that can be arranged. Don't you worry about that. But for now, I'm going to need both of you to get the fuck out of here. So if you don't mind me, I'm just going to be increasing the temperature of the sauna to a level beyond that of human existence. A nice sweltering 155 degrees ought to do nicely. And you know what they say, if you can't stand the heat, get the fuck out of the sauna. And that just so happens to be exactly what our two mates do just in time for Yuki Yamazaki to decide that she wants to have a private sauna sesh. Ah oh, yes, a beautiful 155 degrees Celsius. The perfect time to enjoy the sauna fully clothed. Ooh, it is a little warm in here, but I'm sure a few minutes won't- yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, stick a fork in her, cause she's done. <laughs> oh, I'm retarded. Oh wait, before we move on, remember how that cunt in the sauna said that he could stay there forever and ever and ever? I could stay here forever. And ever and ever and ever. Well mate, it appears that today is your fucking lucky day, because as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and arrange that for you. Ok, 
Okay, moving on. So now that we've dealt with Yuki Yamazaki, it's time to shift our attention to our next target, Eric Sodas. We'll start by making our way back to the closet that we stuffed the unconscious chef into earlier and changing back into the hospital director's uniform. Then, we'll follow the corridor around to the right and enter the medical staff sleeping quarters, where we'll pick up a Neurochip remote control. An interesting little toy that we'll be having some fun with in a moment. But for now, let's pop across the corridor to the other staff sleeping quarters, pick up this soda can and then race upstairs to the morgue. Hey, so... You're the curator's research aid, right? Let me guess. You want to know about the medical trial? Oh, so it is true. The, the guys had a mood-altering neurochip implanted in his brain, so so how does it work? Uh, does it work? That's a good question. And seeing as though we've just swiped the curator's neurochip remote control from his sleeping quarters, we're going to be conducting a little medical trial of our own very shortly. But before we do that, let's destroy the evidence so that the bastards can't record us on CCTV. Because, you know, silent assassin and stuff. Now that we've taken care of that, it's time to head into the room with all of the mortuary coolers and take notice of the guy on the right. That guy is the curator. You know, the one with the mood-altering neurochip implanted into his brain. For which we have the remote to control. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I think it's about time that we started that little medical experiment we were talking about earlier. Oh my! This space! Beautiful. What the fuck is this cunt talking about? Everything and everything in its proper place. Oh my goodness. Oh, why haven't I noticed before? I need to share this with my babies. Oh, and in case anyone's wondering, his babies are actually organs that he has in storage. I know. What a sick fuck. Anyway, I think his happiness has lasted long enough. Oh no. Here he comes. The old poisonous cloud bank rolling in. Oh, oh how did I imagine I could escape it? Oh, this is who I am. Always will be. There's some craving for peanuts. Smooth saltiness. I, I can almost taste them now. Oh, how marvelous. Maybe chocolate? Whoa, yes! Oh. Alas, the exquisite horror of reality confronts me yet again. It feels like breathing an atmosphere of sorrow, chilling me to the bone. Ah, yes. This room really is laid out perfectly. I feel it now. The dread. The looming, terrible sadness that is sure to end my life before its time. Oh. Mm. That sensation. Oh, what an achievement. There it is. My nemesis. The darkness from beyond sanity. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, this day just gets better and better. I smell flowers. And so the darkness creeps in from the banks of my distant memories. A fog of disillusion and terror. Oh, what's that sound? It's like a... Oh, 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 it's like a gentle humming in the back of my head. Is that... Oh, it's my foe. The sadness that fills my heart returns once more. Cloud my eyes and mind. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gents, well, I think it's fair to say after an extensive medical trial that the mood-altering neurochip implanted in the curator's brain works pretty well. So let's stop fucking around with this poor guy's emotions and just let the cunt be happy. Father, look at me now. I, I need to go see it. My work. Hallelujah. 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 I'm really sorry to have to have done that to you, mate. I really am, but you were in the way. So 
So just, just do me a favor for a while and have a nap in this closet until I'm gone and that would be fantastic. Now, ladies and gents, this heart right here is the right-sided donor heart that Eric Soders is currently laying on a surgery table waiting for. This heart will be the difference as to whether he lives or dies. Without this heart, he's fucked. So? Elegant solution, 47. We're just gonna chuck it in the bin! And just like that, we have effectively eliminated Eric Soders without even fucking touching him. Fantastic! But, I know what you're thinking. But Ozzy, what happens if the cunt finds another heart? And that's a good point. I mean, it's a very slim chance, but it's still a chance. And I don't like taking any chances. So we're gonna have to do something about that. We'll start by taking this staircase all the way up to the second floor. And once we get there, we'll cross the hallway into the surgery observation room. We'll then take a left and head through the next door into the secondary control room, where we'll get a nice bird's eye view of Eric Soda's laying on the surgery table. Little does he know, cunt's fucked. Now we'll just let ourselves into the hospital AI's mainframe and sabotage the fuck out of it so that everything now functions. You are not allowed to do that. Please don't touch that. Maintenance is only allowed for certified engineers. That's nice. What? Now that everything's descended into complete and utter chaos, we'll use the operation controls to end the life of Eric Sodas once and for all. Hey. Well, ladies and gents, now that both of our targets have been eliminated, our business here is concluded. So let's quickly swing by the bathroom where we first obtained the hospital director's uniform, get back into our patient disguise, race down the corridor to the gondola platform, board the gondola, and get the fuck out of here. That, of course, concludes today's episode of Let's Fucking Play Hitman. As always, if you enjoyed the video, show that thumbs up button a little bit of love, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. Who knows, I may even upload another couple of videos between now and the end of the year. That's all for now, ladies and gentlemen. You're all absolute fucking legends, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.